Good afternoon, and welcome to the Software Engineering Institute's webinar series. My name is Shane McGraw, and I'd like to thank you all for attending today's webinar. Our webinar series presentation today is Capability Maturity Model Integration, CMMI version 1.3, in Architecture Centric Engineering by Dr. Mike Conrad and Dr. Larry Jones. Larry is joining us from Colorado Springs. And now I'm going to turn the presentation over to Larry Jones. Larry? Okay. You got me okay there? Yep. Coming through. Uh, great. Let me start off with an assertion here, and then we'll back it up and give you some uh, background as the webinar progresses here. And that assertion is that the quality and longevity of a software-reliant system is largely determined by its architecture. Okay, so this is at the heart of why SEI is interested in this work and why we are trying to provide some emphasis to this. But um, it's uh, a problem that's been recognized by a number of organizations, uh, as you see a few here represented, and it's backed up by this difficulty on slide six. So let me proceed to slide seven here and talk a little bit about what the technical background behind that sort of thing results from. If you are an experienced developer, you realize that your earliest design decisions are the ones that send you down paths that either lead you in the right direction or don't. And so they are the hardest to change and they most uh, critical to get right because you're charting a path that could be an expensive uh, rework or unraveling of that path if you take the wrong direction. Uh, so software architecture and system architecture and all the various architecture flavors that you have out there turn out to be an excellent communication vehicle among stakeholders. So it's a great way to start thinking about what are we talking about, what do we mean that we want in our systems. Secondarily here, the architecture is the first design artifact that you're going to find that's going to address these things that we typically refer to as illities or have the less uh, flashy title of the non-functional requirements. But uh, as modern practice in all sorts of engineering disciplines tell you, you can't design in quality later. You can't add quality later. You have to design it in. And then furthermore, one of the pushes these days is to try to do less work. And so systematic reuse is a um, goal in a lot of people's mind. But if you don't do reuse that's architected appropriately, then uh, the components that you wish to reuse are, are, are not going to be transferable. And then lastly, if you're going to do a smart evolution in this, the architecting can either send you on the right path or the wrong path. So let me go to the next slide here then, slide eight, and talk a little bit about some of the push that you see out there. Now, these are software oriented, but um, and as Michael explained, we find a lot of these things applying. So last October, CNNMoney.com, best job in America. Sounds like a recruiting tool to me. And then previous to that, the US Army has actually mandated that the program executive offices appoint a chief software architect. So some people have uh, have gotten the word and they're trying to do some things about this. So I'm going to turn it over to Mike here to get you started on the next slide here where we talk about the learning outcomes. Hello. So let's take a step back for a moment and talk about what our objectives or outcomes for this webinar are. This is slide nine for those of you following that way. Um, as, as Larry said, uh, Larry motivated for us uh, the topic or subject of architecture. And so in, in this webinar, we want to explore what these concepts mean a little more with a little more care and provide some context about where architecture comes from or how it's driven by this notion that we're going to explain some more about quality attributes. So at the end of this, by the time you complete this webinar, we'd like you to know something about these terms. Uh, how they relate to each other, how they help solve business problems or achieve mission goals, objectives for your product or mission, and, uh, uh, and then also how, where you might find these things in CMMI version 1.3. CMMI version 1.3 has been out now for over two months, and um, it's very easy to overlook these changes. We'll talk some more about that later.